So I'm going to go ahead and say something pretty bold. Earth Wars is the best budget game on the Nintendo Switch eShop right now, um, and probably ever. I just picked up this game for $4.50, and I thought this, this must be... This must be some sort of mistake. Um, there's no way that a game that looks this good and plays this good is $4.50. But here we are. I bought this game for $4.50 today. It just released on the Switch eShop, and it is absolutely amazing. So if you've ever played a game like a Vanillaware game, sort of like uh, Muramasa the Demon Blade, you sort of know what to expect with this game. But I am just blown away by how much fun I've been having. I've been playing for about an hour and a half to two hours, and everything is just so good. So basically, the premise of this game is aliens have attacked the world in the year 2020. Actually, they attacked in 2019, and this is the result of it. In 2020, this is how the world is now. And yeah, so there's been, you know, a big, a big change. A big change has happened. The funny thing about this game is all of the um all the dialogue is in japanese but it's translated into english uh written wise you know it's dubbed and uh but the game takes place in america so i don't know that's just that's just kind of funny to me but here's the core combat of the game and as you can see it is very very fast paced so it's a 2d hack and slash with rpg elements as you can see as i'm playing the game i'm picking up different uh items and abilities and stuff and what you do is you do a, like a, a weapon crafting to upgrade your weapons you get a combat evaluation score every time you uh, engage an enemy there are different mission types too there's main missions side missions you know things that help you level up your character things that help you level up um your weapons and things of that nature now you can also do by holding down and b you can do a little slide there you can dash by hitting the r button the dash goes up uh left and right or down i guess let me say yeah it does go down i never never tried it all right, so these little tipperons are annoying as hell because they like hide under the the ground and like they pop up and you have to you have to kill them. It's it's very it's very challenging. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on on the screen, but it it is a bit chaotic at first. But I think the difficulty curve is fantastic. They really sort of ease you into the core elements of the game and. Um, I'm still learning new things as I go along. I just unlocked some EX attacks, which are supposedly like the uh, like a super attack for harder enemies. Because there's some enemies, like in the first section of the game, there's some really hard enemy that I could not defeat. And I realized that I just wasn't powered up enough and I need to go back, you know, after the fact and attack them. So you can see I'm using my blade here. Uh, you also have a gun. And this has its own, uh, you know, system. It's basically used to sort of um, break down enemy defenses, things of that nature. I played that terribly. I got a D. That's so bad. The better you do, the better rewards you get. Of course, the better rewards you get, the more cool stuff you can do for your actual character. So we're in a massive underground network right now. This is actually um, New York City. This is what New York City is currently going to look like in 2020 so if you plan on traveling to new york city uh if this game is any indication you may want to go ahead and do that traveling now because i mean it, it looks like there's there's not much going on after <laughs> after next year you know it's, it's all going down because these little alien dudes are going to take over and it's just it's just going to be a mess i don't know where to go here we'll just keep exploring one thing that's interesting about the game is the missions themselves. Um, this is a main story mission, so I anticipate that it's going to take, you know, a good bit of time. But there's also just, like, very quick missions, side missions, where you have to, you know, just, you help a fallen soldier or, you know, discover or help find a notebook or things like that. So not everything is, like, a super long mission, but the amount of spaces on the overall game map, which I'll show you towards the end of the video, um, really lend this game to being like a very massive game and i hope it is because it's an absolute joy to play the combat is just so fluid and there's little intricacies and whatnot when you uh when you weaken an enemy and you get close inside you do like a special um final attack that will uh replenish your health like there it's just it's so fast and fluid it's just oh it feels so good Little ninja guys. Ooh, he knocked me back. I want to try out my new special attack, but it says to only use them on, like, 
uh, super enemies, you know, like super hard enemies. So we're gonna save those because I, th I believe that's what that uh, that meter is underneath my health bar, the hundred percent meter. I'm pretty sure that that's what that is. Oh, you got your jimmies rustled. You got your jimmies rustled. This dude's being a little difficult. There we go. Get out of here. Terminated. You know, there's no spot on the map of where I'm supposed to go. But that's okay, because I like exploring. All right, this is a dead end. Let's go up top and to the right. But yeah, the game is just, I mean, look when you look at it, it definitely looks a lot like, you know, Muramasa the Demon Blade or another VanillaWare, you know, style game. Go up there, you idiot. There we go. I guess I was the idiot. Uh, but it definitely has that certain aesthetic and that certain charm. Okay, here we go. Hello. Now we're in business. So those crystals, previously, I could not break them down. And I know that there's different crystal locations in this underground area. Um, so branching pads, that's another thing. Like, there's so much in this game. Why is it $4.50? I feel like the company made a mistake. Because this is easily, to me, is a $20 to $30 game. Just the amount of stuff, the amount of customization, the amount of gameplay, uh, and how good everything is crafted. Like, why are you charging so cheap for it? What is wrong with you? I mean, gamers win. But seriously, every Nintendo Switch owner needs to check out this game. If this sort of gameplay style um, interests you in any way, shape, or form, you need to get on board. Ah, freaking Tiburons. And your and I don't know if I've said this already, but your uh, your characters that are with you in battle they they don't do anything. So maybe that's a bit I wouldn't say a missed opportunity, but something that would have been cool if there was like online co-op for this game and you could like play with your friends because of how much you can customize the characters and whatnot. That would have been pretty dope, but you know no big deal. It's it's still an excellent single player game, and it's four dollars and fifty cents for some reason. Like, I thought Kamiko was a great deal. Kamiko was the king of the budget game before this came out. Five bucks, that was an excellent $5 game. But you you cannot beat this. Like, look at this game. Look at it. I can't get over it. I cannot get over how much quality and how much I am enjoying this game. And I only spent $4.50. That's less than I spent at Wendy's yesterday. And all I got at Wendy's was uh, uh, two Junior Bacon Cheeseburgers and a side salad. It's like six bucks. Less than a meal at Wendy's, folks. I have dabbled with it in uh, handheld mode as well. It still looks very good. Everything uh, nice and smooth runs well. I know sometimes the uh, the handheld stuff can uh, get a little janky for some reason. Collapsed under pass three. I hope we get a boss battle soon. I've only done one boss battle, but it was awesome. It like took up the whole screen and it was very tactical. That's another thing. There's awesome boss battles in this game too. A lot of a lot of scrub tier enemies here, but there is enough of them to where they could do a little bit of damage if I'm not careful. Slide under you. Bada boom, bada boom. You can customize your character at the start of the game as well. Um, I gave my guy this really weird, funny voice where he goes, because <laughs> it, it made me laugh. But there's like different avatars, um, male, female. So if you're into customizing people, there's a little customization in the game as well. Collapse underpass four. Get out of here. Oh, wow. All right, they're dropping down. Uh, dash. Wave dash. I feel like a, a Smash Brothers player. Whoa, okay. They're just, they're just dropping them down from the sky here. Bam, 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 bam. I need to upgrade my gun a little bit more. It's pretty, pretty poop. 
But just like, look at this. No, no slowdown. No jankiness. Just buttery smooth. This, whatever team this is, they need to be like hired by Vanillaware so that Vanillaware can make more games consistently. It's some uh, Japanese company that I've never heard of. And uh, okay, so we're at the. Uh, we are arriving at the destination. So that's cool. Ah. Something gonna go down here? Are we just gonna end the mission? I feel like something's gonna go down here. Uh oh. Something's going down. Oh boy! <laughs> Look at this thing! What is this? Alright, dude. Let's go. I told you guys, there's awesome boss battles in the game as well. Whoa, okay, he did some damage to me there. Be a little bit careful. Oh, man. This isn't good. Oh man, this isn't good at all. Gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Good dash, good dash. I took him I took him too lightly. I took him too lightly, folks. I took him too lightly. Mistakes were made, but I do have a continue. So mistakes will not be made this time. We're going to take this guy out together. Well, hopefully. <laughs> and I guess we're not really together because you're you're watching this. This isn't a live video, but I just I needed to show this game off. I don't plan on doing you know two what is style videos in one day. I actually thought about maybe doing a full presentation for this video, but I wanted to play it more. Um, before I did something like that. Expect it to be featured in like eShop games you must buy videos in the future though. Because this is this is just a no-brainer. It's it's such a good freaking game. Alright. I've I've think I've I think I've got him in a good groove. He's about halfway down. Gotta, just got to dash through his attack. Shoot. Oh, that hurt. We might be using that final continue. I don't know. I don't know if I could avoid getting hit. Okay. So much so much for that. So we'll be using our final continue here. But we are going to beat them one way or another. I could see speedrunners messing with this game, too. Like, get, like, super abilities and stuff like that. All right. Good move, Sean. Good move. Ah, I slid right into that. Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 100%. Attack. Attack. Shut up. I'm fine. Oh my god, this is going to be right down to the wire. Oh my god, I'm not going to make it. Mistakes were made, folks. Mistakes were made. But let me show you guys the... Um, let me show you guys the uh, menu system really quick before we uh, get into that. So... You can do um, weapon upgrades and change different things. Weapon crafting. You can craft, you know, different weapons and stuff like that. Uh, different armor. You can enhance your stuff. This is my basic layout right here. I can't believe that dude beat me. I, 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 I played sloppy. I played sloppy. There's also a skill tree. This is sort of the RPG element of the game. The skill tree over here shows you 
um, what you're sort of linked up as right now. I'm a defensive specialist. That's probably why I didn't play so good. I like to be sort of in the middle. You can also you acquire different skills as you go along. You can acquire them to your skill capacity as seen in here. A bit overwhelming because there's a lot of stuff, but it's very worth getting into. But this is Earth Wars. If you have $4.50, buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. It is one of the finest games I've played on the Switch eShop. It is automatically now in the running of one of my favorite games of 2018. I cannot wait to play this game more because it is absolutely awesome. And I will be up all night playing this because we all know the WWE 2K18 patch isn't going to fix anything. But thank you guys for checking out this video. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more indie spotlights. I've actually got a PS4 game in the works for you guys as well. Thank you for checking out this video. I love all you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. Take it back.